Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another video. But before I get started with the subject of this video, I want to give a huge shout out to my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks is a company that provides upgrade decals for modern Transformer figures along with reproduction decals for the vintage ones. While visiting Toy Hacks, make sure and check out the Toy Hacks Armory to see their line of Transformers weaponry in multiple colors and toy stages for awesome display backdrops. Each purchase from Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that you can use for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors, so make sure and check out ToyHacks.com and tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is this awesome, supersized KO Siege Sideswipe. Now this figure right here was lent to me by Patriot Prime Reviews member Jason Wade Cox. He sent me a private message one day asking if I've ever seen one of these giant KO Siege figures, and I'm like, no, I have not. And he says, well, let me lend you mine so you could do a review on it and let us know what you think. So I just got this figure in the mail yesterday, along with this free gift that Jason included that I'll go over more in a upcoming Toy Hacks video. So Jason, thank you so much. This is a really cool figure. Now, the company that makes this is called AY, A. A O Y, it's A O Y I. So that's the company that makes it. So enough of me trying to pronounce the name of the company. Let's go ahead and take a look at this awesome KO figure. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> Now my first impressions with this KO Sideswipe is wow. The plastic quality on this figure is amazing. This guy is solid and heavy, nice thick plastic. I mean, when I think KO, I think of cheap, thin plastic that'll break if you look at it funny. This guy, I feel like I could throw him across my room and the only thing he's gonna damage is my wall. I mean, this guy looks good all over. I mean, this is really impressive. I mean, when I got him out of the box, I was just like, wow. Now, he does have the exact same molding as Siege Sideswipe. Head sculpt looks great. Got blue paint applications there for the eyes. This is different right here. You've got the stripes and some kind of random writing or symbols right there on the chest. Got paint for the headlights and paint down here on the knees. No paint for the rims. There's some paint on the sides here, but we'll look at that more in vehicle mode. I mean, this figure looks great. I mean, I am really impressed with this guy. Now, he has kind of the same articulation as Side Swipe or Siege Side Swipe. The head is on a swivel. It can just do a complete 360. It's not on a ball joint like the Siege version. Arms can do a complete 360 as well. Out and in, elbow bend, elbow rotation, no wrist rotation. Waist can do a rotation, legs forward, back. There is a knee bend, there is a rotation here at the hip, and there is ankle swivel. So a lot of the same articulation. Love the colors on this guy. He's just really, really bright compared to Siege Sideswipe. Siege Sideswipe, he kind of had that dull red and eggshell white. This guy, bright red, bright right, white, and he really, really pops. Now, taking a look at his weaponry, it's the same style weapons that Siege Sideswipe comes with, except these are molded all in black, where Siege Sideswipe had a red missile. This one is black. You can peg them together like so and plug it in right here on top of his shoulder. So there you got the KO Jumbo Sideswipe, all armed and ready for battle. Now stand up here. He is a little loose 
with the knees and feet, but nothing too bad. I mean, I've had worse Hasbro figures with looseness. So now let's bring in regular Hasbro Siege Sideswipe for comparison so you can really see the size difference. And I notice also another difference with the molds is look at the hands compared to the Siege version. Siege has a closed fist where the KO has kind of an open fist like so. But still, I mean, wow. That's pretty much spot on. Just a, an amazing looking figure, an amazing feeling figure. I mean, this guy's awesome. So now let's go ahead and get Sideswipe transformed into vehicle mode. Transformation is exactly the same. I love transformation for this figure. Just pop these sections out here, fold the feet in, go ahead and rotate the waist, tab the legs together, flip the chest up out of the way, bring these sections out, fold the wrists in, or the fists in, bring those in at an angle. I can almost transform Sideswipe with my eyes closed. I mean, think how many molds we've had of Sideswipe already. Let's see. Close the legs up. Tab those in. Bring these sections down. And there we have Sideswipe. If I get that section in, in vehicle mode. Nice, big, bulky vehicle. I mean, this thing is just awesome. Just like Siege Sideswipe, but it looks like he has a few more paint applications. He does have the translucent canopy right there that you can see all the robot junk there on the inside. The stripes carry over from the chest. They don't really go along the rest of the vehicle, which is kind of surprising. Nice paint applications right there for the intakes. Big pins for the wheels. And he actually has paint applications for the tail lights on the back. Let's see, get that all together there. So yeah, really, really cool vehicle mode. So now let's bring in Siege Sideswipe so we can compare vehicle modes. And a big difference I noticed right off the bat is the painted rims on the Hasbro version. I think these look a lot better, but I do like the gray along the sides on the KO. I mean, as you can see, these are pretty much exactly the same. You got the black paint applications. Actually, no, that's silver as well. It's a little darker silver for the intakes on Hasbro side swipe. Of course, he's also got the Autobot logo on the back. No paint applications on Hasbro. This one's got the tail lights. So really, really cool. I am really impressed with this guy. I love the size, love the quality. I mean, I may have to hunt one of these down myself. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is the KO Siege Sideswipe with Generation 1 Optimus Prime, Generation 1 Sideswipe, Siege Sideswipe once again, and Earthrise Optimus Prime. The Jumbo KO Sideswipe is a really cool figure and an exact duplicate, just supersized, of the Siege version. I forgot to point out, he even has jumbo blast effect pegs. Now, I know KOs are a very divisive subject amongst the Transformers community, and with that being said, I'm not going to tell you where you can order one of these. If you want a figure like this for your collection, just hit up Google. You're sure to find one. Once again, I want to give a huge shout out to channel member Jason Wade Cox for lending me his sideswipe so I could show him off for you guys. Now, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I offer channel memberships here on YouTube, and I also have a Patreon page. Once again, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!